Welcome to this video. Here I'll be showing you how to use the cable block import functionality of Wondes. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to click on bulk tools and cable block tools import connections. Once I click on this button I can browse for an Excel spreadsheet that I have set up for cable block connections. On my desktop I've got this one import cable connections.xls. I can click on it and I can say open. Now that it's opened up, you can see I have firstly a list of headings up top. These headings are actually situated in row 1 of Excel. And they are not just headings, but you actually have to fill them in in the Excel spreadsheet. Right, firstly we've got our source tag here on the left hand side. So this is the source instrument panel whatever's tag number. The source type tells us what type of tag this is. Now in this instance these are instruments and these two at the bottom are field panels, FFLD. Next is the table that these belong to. So this tag here, the source tag, belo belongs to the source table. Because these are instruments they belong in the I index table. These are FLD panels and they belong in the panel table. Here you can give a description which will be filled in in the description field. Next we've got the cable that these instruments or panels will be following. This is the actual cable tag number and you can see the type of cable that it is in the C-type column. So these are all instrument cables. Next to that is the length of the cable. These are all 10 except for the two JB cables which are 200 in length. The destination tag is the destination of this source instrument going through this cable. So in this case the destination tag is either the JB or for the bottom two PLC. Next we can have the type. We'll see that these are field panels and the bottom two are card panels. They belong in the panel table so that's why that is just filled in there. And then we can tell it which block diagram these belong to. As you can see here we've got the 300LV010 going to the 300JB004. And if we look at the bottom here, let's just open this up a bit more. 300JBA004 goes to 300PLC02. So in this instance, the destination which is there is used as the source on this side to continue with this connection. Alright, so what we'll do now just seeing that we now know how this thing is set up we can click firstly on the build connections button I click on it and all the connections are being built once the connections are built we can click on the create block diagram button The block diagrams are created now I can close this down and I can open up on the left hand side I can open up my block connect module if I open up, for instance, Block Connect 300 JBA004, you'll see that our block diagram is already created. There you go. Also, open up the first one and see that it works. And as you can see, we have got a successful block import. I would suggest watching the following videos also, which are a continuation of this one. Bulk assign T-strips to instruments. Bulk assign cables to instruments. Bulk assign standards to components. And also using the auto core connect function. Thank you. This is the end of the video.